As all of our audience knows, in the early morning hours of March 26, the fully loaded cargo ship lost power as it was exiting the port of Baltimore. It slammed into the Francis Scott Key Bridge spanning the Patapsco River, causing the bridge to collapse and fall into the river. Remarkably, there were only six fatalities from this tragic accident. It's also remarkable that in less than five months, the channel is mostly to the Baltimore Harbor is mostly open to shipping. Mike, this week, Maryland Senators Chris Van Hollen and Ben Cardin urged a Senate panel to support full federal funding to replace the damaged bridge. A total of approximately $1.7 billion. Who should pay for the bridge to rebuild it? Well, as, as I understand it, I think the $1.7 billion will be a significant contribution from the feds, but I think the state is, going to, is going to have to put in money, too. I've heard the number from some state sources is as high as between 3 and $4 billion for the total cost of the replacement. So I think the solution is going to be um, both local, state, and federal, ultimately, at the end of the day. And I think that's probably where it ought to be. Clearly, the, the port has a significant national impact, and there is a, there are significant um, economic benefits for that for the port that, that clearly accrue to the rest of the country. And But obviously, it has significant impact here locally and regionally, and, and the state has, has an interest in making sure that that works as well. So I think that I, I appreciate our senators putting that out there. I think the Fed should, should pony up as well, um, but I think it's going to be a combined effort ultimately to get this across the finish line. Well, but uh, Mark, Mark, the transportation modal is that the the bridge services Baltimore, basically Baltimore City. So, should the federal government be picking up the cost for this? Well, I think what we what we have talked about in the past is that it would be great to see more of the money come from the insurance carriers for the boat owners that are responsible for that. Uh, that said, I guess their their pockets are only so deep or the <laughs> litigation can only produce so much for it. Uh, and, and unfortunately, that will only be a uh, proverbial drop in the bucket. Well, but let, let's assume that the, the insurance companies are good. And I think the the article that uh, that uh, I sent around was said that the insurance companies are good for about seven hundred million dollars. Uh, who should get that money? If Maryland is going to be putting in three million dollars and, and the feds are putting in one point seven million dollars, who gets the insurance proceeds? Hmm. Well, presumably it's the Maryland Transportation Authority. Maybe I'm not following your. Um, well, the, uh, the suggestion the suggestion uh, that was as it was proposed to uh, the, the Commerce Committee in the Senate was that the feds would get that money, not the state of Maryland. I can't believe that that's not actually factored into what's there. So if we actually think we we've already anticipated we're going to get the seven hundred million, I I would assume that we've already factored in that the, that the total cost is going to be greater, and that the, what we're asking the feds for is reflective of what we need from the feds, not that we should then get more money back to the feds. Well, that's I think, but I mean that's that, I yeah. think that that's critical in determining whether we get federal funding, and quote unquote full federal funding. Right which has been bandied about um, as, as, you know, we have an infrastructure deficit here in Maryland. I mean, mm -hmm. this is, you know, adding another $3 billion to the deficit is, is, is a major task that the uh, administration of Westmore has to uh, juggle in the next two or three years because everybody wants that bridge built as quickly as possible. Well, and I think to your point, Casey, the notion that the, the bridge serves Baltimore City, it does, but it also serves the ability for that port to be viable. Um, many of the people who actually work at that port live on the other side of that bridge. And so the ability for that to be a, an ongoing economic entity that can support activity up and down the East Coast, I think, points to why this is more than just a state of Maryland effort to, to, to bring to, to, to a successful conclusion.